Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. In terror of being Star Wars, 501st Legion ATRT with ARF Trooper and TX-21 Tactical Droid. This deluxe packs from the first wave of Class 1 vehicles in 2013, and the retail price is $19.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Included with this pack is the 501st ATRT and two figures. Up first is TX-21 Tactical Droid, which was Poggle the Lesser's Tactical Droid during Season 2 of the Clone Wars. On the back of the figure, there's not much to see, but you can get a better look at the overall shape of the tactical droid, as well as his painting details, which include gray and teal. The head sculpt for the tactical droid has a flat box design. He has two green eyes, as well as teal and gray paint details. Printed onto his chest is brown Geonosian markings, and sculpted onto his waist is what appears to be a vent, as well as two armor plates protecting his hips. Weapons and accessories include a battle droid blaster, and the articulation for TX-21 includes a ball jointed neck, ball jointed shoulders, hinged elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, ball jointed hips, and ball jointed ankles. The second and final figure is the ARF Trooper, who is painted in 501st blue markings as they appear during the Embargo arc and season 4 of the Clone Wars. Other than the blue 501st markings and the black details for the jumpsuit, the majority of the figure is basic white Clone Trooper armor. As the Clone Wars series gets older, so does the timeline, which is clearly affecting all the characters, including the clones, Painted onto this R Trooper's ventilator is brown markings, which is a step towards becoming ATRT drivers. The 501st markings continue down the helmet, on the chest plate, and the shoulder plates as well. Attached to both sides of the belt is a pouch, and on the back is a canister. Weapons and accessories include a DC-15 carbine. And the articulation for the 501st R Trooper includes a ball-jointed head, ball-hunched shoulders, ball-hunched elbows, ball-hunched wrists, ball-jointed waist, ball-hunched hips, ball-hunched knees, and ball-hunched ankles. The ATRTs are repainted the new design that was released back in 2011, except this time it's now painted in gray with 501st blue markings. Printed on both sides is a black 501st logo, and there's even a tad bit of weather details too. Each leg has two points of articulation, with hinge joints at the ankles and the hips. The heavy repeating blaster can rotate 360 degrees around and also pivot up and down. Attached to the back is two gray antennas, and you can see one figure operating the vehicle with adjustable control handles. So for about $20, even though they're all repaints, the figures still look awesome, and it's always great to have another ATRT for the collection. So that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.